Timers of East Stillingshire have the chance to pull off the mother of all cup shocks, like Billy Dodds. They're at Ibrooks, but they're there to play the Premier League leaders. And some of the Shire's Norwegian fan club will be there, hoping to see their heroes achieve the near impossible. Alistair Lamont has been meeting the man responsible for making the third division club big news in Norway. <laughs> day in the Glasgow office of Shell, but for one employee, the type of fame David Brent could only dream of beckons. This is definitely the, the, the biggest game I'll ever be involved in. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't believe when I heard the draw that we got Rangers at Ibrox. You know, it's, it's a, a dream come true, uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, we'll get you know a big crowd, good at atmosphere at the game, and that will you know will really help us a lot. The newly laid Ibrox pitch will be East Stirlingshire's field of dreams later tonight. Over in the far corner behind me is where the East Stirlingshire fans will gather. And among the thousand or so who make the trip will be a sizeable contingent from Norway. So what does the support from his countrymen mean to Carl? It means a lot. Um, you know, it means people back home in Norway actually, you know, look out for East Stirling and, you know, hope, hope they do well. Um, and... Uh, in Norway, they've, they've got a, a Norwegian supporters club called Norway Shire. Uh, so far, there's over 6,000 members, and uh, it really means a lot that you know people actually care about the club and that the fact that I play for East Stirling. And there's even a personal welcome for two of those long-distance fans, Mr. and Mrs. Tivison. We are very excited about being at the match tomorrow, so we hope they are going to do their best. Let's hope that we have some good weather as well. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm afraid there's more chance of a Shire victory tonight than good Scottish weather in January. Well, if East Stellingshire can provide that upset, they'll join Motherwell, Aberdeen and Partick Thistle in the fifth round. That trio of clubs did beat the January weather and their opponents last night to reach the last 16 of the Cup.